With the latest from News 4 Jax, I'm Mary Bear. Investigators with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office are searching for a man who's wanted in connection with a reported armed burglary and sexual battery on the city's south side. JSO said the incident happened around noon today in the area of Beach Boulevard and St. John's Bluff. The suspect involved has been described as a man in his early 20s about five foot nine with black hair and facial hair, and he was last seen wearing a black t-shirt and blue shorts. He's said to be armed with a black handgun, and he was seen leaving the area on a black scooter with orange rims. Duval County Public Schools is being sued after a veteran teacher was removed from a classroom. Attorneys with the Southern Poverty Law Center and a private law firm filed a civil case today against the district on behalf of Robert E. Lee High School teacher Amy Donofrio, claiming that the district retaliated against their client and violated her right to free speech. The teacher was recently reassigned to paid non-teaching duties while the district investigates what it described as several matters related to allegations of misconduct. She claims it was all over for her hanging a Black Lives Matter flag over the door of her classroom. And some sad news to report tonight about a young man who collapsed after crossing the finish line at the Gate River Run in the top 10 percent. We've learned, though, that 26-year-old Andrew Baker, he died early this morning after being treated in the neuro ICU at UF Health Jacksonville. His family telling News for Jack shortly after his collapse how touched they were at the outpouring of support for the UNF graduate and avid winner. Always the latest news online at newsforjacks.com. Thank you.